Hey guys, what is going on? This is Matt and Vinick once again bringing you top player gameplay. I was going to do some farming today, but I decided to study for my retake for another class. Yeah, school priorities. But anyways, let's go ahead and get out with this one. By the way, you do see that link down uh, below the video at the beginning and usually the end. Just by checking out that link, you just really help out this channel. I appreciate it if you do, if you haven't before. It does really help me out. It really is free gems. Um, you rack up credits and then you redeem them for iTunes, you can do Amazon cards, um, I think they have Google Play now. So they have a bunch of cards, just check out the link, it's got instructions on that website and it helps me out a lot. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out this raid. It is by Chipper Boy from UN here, and this base right here, I've seen it a lot of times and it's pretty famous. I mean, a lot of people use this design and it's just not as effective anymore. Um, the, the thing is about bases, I've, I talk about this a lot of times, once the base has been you know, going around for a week or two, sometimes three, it is time to switch it up because once uh, a player in a clan or a whole system of clans figures out how to attack a particular base, it spreads like fire and people already know usually by the end of first week how to attack the base and how to usually two star it and maybe even three star it if it's that bad of a base at the end. Because all it takes is to find one flaw and that's all. Um, used to run a variation of this base with uh, where the top where you see the cannon and the dark elixir drill. There used to be a spot that I took out in the wall piece so that the golem would be lured over to that side and it kind of, you know, tricked the attackers like, where's my third golem? Oh, he's over there. What is he doing there? And then they figure out that there's a hole because I throw it. I threw an archer tower up there and the level uh, 12 archer tower really matches up with the walls level 9 walls, so it was kind of a nice trick, but I guess now you really have to have level 10 walls and level 13 arch towers to do that trick, but anyways, that was kind of a cool variation of a base, and I kind of missed what the trophies were on that one, but it was a 2 star for sure. Up next we have Vision, uh, attacking with the Balloonian attack strategy, he's got a, a Lava Hound that has already blown up, running those 2 race spells on the sides, another Lava Hound just blew up, there might have been one from the enemy clan castle or not, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe just two from the friendly side. There's a free spell down there in the center. The town hall's already down because those balloons did a great job turning all the defenses towards themselves and away from minions. And the two second star has already been achieved as well. It is, uh, okay, we got just about 40 seconds left in the timer, 65%. I can't for sure tell you if this will be a uh, three star at this point. I mean, we do have a level 40 king out on the field. Let's see, where's the queen at? Um, I do not see... Oh, the queen is at the top and her ability has just been activated. If she can take down that well, level 12 archer tower, there's a good chance for a 3 star. Guys, 90%, 10 seconds left. This is going to be some clutch stuff right here. And with 1 second left, we reach 100% and 1 trophy per star right there. So 3 trophies total. And moving on, we have Munir attacking a maxed out base. Pretty sweet stuff here. A lot of resources offered from the defender side, especially on the gold. Um, in the previous video, I kind of said that the top players, the reason they have so much gold is because they don't have it, they don't spend it on much things. I mean, everything's maxed out. Somebody put a comment down below and it said that they do spend it on traps, which is absolutely true. So, yes, they still reset their traps and that's the only thing that they can really spend their gold on. Maybe a few more upgrades once in a while when the updates come out, but that's what the gems are for. <laughs> Anyways, uh, moving on with this raid, so the clan castle has been pulled and it's about to get killed right there by our friendly clan castle. I see a golem out on the field, we should see probably two more here soon or one more, uh, yeah, because the other one has been deployed down there. Now they're all out on the field, we got some wall breakers coming in, definitely want to break through those walls. There's uh, a lot of square compartments there towards the town hall and that's where we need to get to. Now, this might be one of those situations where the king just doesn't go to the town hall, he might. If he doesn't, it will be the queen's job to get in there and take it down. So far, the king is moving towards the right direction. We see another race spell there. Notice that none of the abilities have been activated yet. I'm assuming the king will be activated soon. No, he is activated. I'm sorry. The king is definitely activated. The queen there is, uh, I think, still on the rage ability. I'm not sure if she got activated or not. Yeah, she probably... Oh, there she goes. Okay, so the queen just got activated. The king there is wrapping up his ability. And 39% so far, guys. Just under 30 seconds left. The queen goes down. The king up there. Maybe we'll get that dark elixir storage. That would be nice. And let's see. Oh, wow. So close. Oh, will that be a game changer on this one? Let's take a look. 
All the troops have been deployed. Okay, so 48%, 49%, and there goes the 50%. So, it did get pretty close, uh, but definitely not as close as I thought it would be. Still, a really solid attack there. 14 trophies and 2 stars. And moving on to the next one here, we got Chipper Boy once again attacking uh, Das Bach... Uh, Bamhas, yeah, I'm sorry, I totally butchered that name of the clan, um, but uh, interesting base here. The town was pretty well centered, uh, kind of a weird thing going on in the center. It's not too symmetric, uh, some different wall placements, uh, but I guess that's the way the place was planned out. Giant bomb blows up, I think it took out a few wizards, but that shouldn't be an issue here. Um, I, I'm not sure why I'm boosting through this raid so fast. Maybe I'm just having a few difficulties <laughs> controlling the speed here. But the town hall did go down. I don't even know. That was so fast. Wow. Um, and we're at 40%, obviously, at the moment. Still have that lightning spell, so could use it on... Let's see, is there a builder hut? Yeah, there is a builder hut. If um, You know, you can always drop it on that. You can drop it on... Uh, the King Altar over on the left. Oh, that's what exactly happens. Look at that. I totally predicted that. And uh, there we go. 50%. Just under 10 seconds left. Gonna finish that Archer up. I don't think she'll be able to uh, kill that mine before the time expires. But that doesn't even matter. Exactly 50% on the dot with 8 trophies. And um, yeah, moving on to the next one here. We have Mr. Not So Creative with a very creative username. From you on attacking a fully maxed out base. Oop, I lied. There's just a little, little clunk, like a little group of uh, little 10 walls in the center, but that actually doesn't matter because balloons and minions are not affected. Oh, actually, there's more level 10 walls, but that's okay, guys, because balloons and minions are totally not affected by the walls. They're affected by the placement of defenses, specifically the arch towers, the air defenses, the Teslas, the single versus multi target infernos, and all that good stuff. So anyways, the clan castle here is actually, I mean, packed with troops. At this point, we got like 16 skeletons on the field. Uh, with, with those two minions out there, they should be able to wrap them up pretty fast. Um, the reason we're actually, or not we, but Mr. Not So Creative is actually taking them out is because later on, he'll probably deploy his heroes. And if he doesn't take those 16 skeletons out, they will definitely take down his heroes or at least weaken them to a point where they're not going to get the town hall if that is the case at the end. Now we see that um, actually two free spells placed. Now those are multi-target infernos, so they need to be taken down as soon as possible because they do a lot of damage. But um, the town hall curling is very, very exposed. Expos are not pointed to the air, and minions just easily pick it up while the balloons just protect him up in front. Already, the second star has been achieved for the 50 plus percent. Minute 20 seconds left, and let's see what we have. So okay, obviously not the end of the raid. Um, heroes are deployed at the bottom, you know, there's a chance for a three star, although it is a very big compartment at the bottom and that will cause a lot of difficulties overall because, you know, the heroes can either split up at this point or they can go together, they do split up. Um, the king there, it would have been better for him to be in front of the queen just because he has more health and less damage while the queen could be just walking up behind. And at the moment they're both getting hit and I think... Oh, yep, the king goes down first because the queen's ability is activated. And she's getting really close, 90%, just a few more buildings left, 40 seconds left. There's a very, very sly chance that a three-star at this point is going to be amazing if it happens. And, um, okay, so the queen steps past the archers, and she's now getting hit by the arch tower. That goes down, she's going for the T-junction, guys, 20 seconds left, 95%. All right, another building goes down, the Builder Hut right there. Now we got the Army Camp, which is sort of high in health, and then we got the very low health um, Lab, and that goes down with just two hits by the Archer Queen. That is 100% right there, three stars. Very, very high resources taken, and also a lot of trophies. Now up next, we have Meru here from UN Emirates. I went ahead and visited the clan, I believe. The main clan you win is actually planning for a clan war, and I had to leave because first of all, guys, I'm very inactive, and second of all, I don't have heroes that are necessarily maxed out. I mean, I have an account with level 36 queen and level 30 king, but um, it would have been a lot better off if they were higher. And my base is also not even level 10 walls, which is a huge requirement for, you know, number one clan wars. So get excited. I do not know who they found. I think they found someone because the clan is um, unusually high with a lot of high trophy players. So they're all very, very excited. And uh, I will, as usual, make a recap probably around 40 to 50 minutes. Um, 15 attacks from one side, 15 attacks from the other side, as well as 
um, best defenses and so far on. So it's going to be some good stuff, a pretty long video, so get excited for that. And as always, or not as always, but I also wanted to mention that I am st still playing that interview with one of the um, players from UN. Um, we're just in different time zones, and when I come back from school, it's super late for him. And obviously I can't, you know, do interviews and in school, that doesn't really work out. Um, and before school, I, it would be just way too early, it would be like 5, 4.30, 5 a.m. for me. Um, just, I would be super tired and would not be a great interview. So I'm probably going to do it on the weekend if it's possible, Saturday, Sunday. So um, be on the lookout for it maybe the next week, Monday, Tuesday, if it works out this weekend, which I hope it does. But while I was rambling on, the base that is being attacked is pretty much very similar to the one that was attacked previously. Um, this time we do have maxed out heroes and the queen is still alive. Uh, in fact, it is a very, very close base design to the previous one, just a few more. Uh, changes to the way the buildings are placed and a few different compartments, I guess. Now, under a minute left there, and all we have left is the witches, a few wizards, and obviously the skeletons. And um, I do not think this will be a three star just because of the just amount of buildings left. There's way too many. Um, and that, you know, the inferno and the expo and the wizard tower will just not let the witches survive. And three seconds left, just gonna go ahead and let this one around. A lot of damage to the base, and that is actually 14 trophies, two stars. Pretty nice attack right there. Up next we have some um, attacks from the clan wars because I went ahead and actually recorded some. They um, just finished their clan warring a lot in UN Emirates which is not something that I was aware of. So you know something that I might bring to this channel is a lot more clan war videos. I know there's about like a good 75% of my audience that likes long videos. So if you're one of those people hey go ahead and mention um, I could just go around UN clans and record you know the clan wars the way I do voice over them and you'll have nice long videos so let me down down let me know down in the comment section if that is something you're interested in maybe you guys change your mind just you know go ahead and let me know all right so let's go ahead and see how this one is going um all right so interesting base layout obviously not something you see every day um clan war bases have always been different um a lot of players just uh, not necessarily create their own but bring one back from a long time ago or um, choose something that is not widely used um, because as long as the attacker um, actually doesn't use any cheats it is uh, there's a good possibility that your clan war base can win defenses you know not allow the attacker to um, get the first star maybe allow one star but not two star and so forth and um, okay so the attacker here is actually from UN Emirates and so far he's moving um, fairly fine now he did decide he she did decide to attack through the bottom and that is the side that is very far away from the town hall so the queen definitely has to jump inside and it looks like she's gonna target the closer building to her which is currently the inferno tower and after that I hope that she goes for the town hall because that would be very beneficial she's getting shot at shots fired <laughs> so her ability is activated right there she takes down the town hall for the 50% and the start for the town hall with one um, building taken down pretty cool right there not something you see that every day and that is two stars 53% no trophies game because that is clan wars and that is it guys this is Matt and Vinick make sure you drop a like as well as subscribe and uh, I know I said it just now but don't forget leave your comment down below what you think about clan war videos this is Matt and Vinick and make it a great clash time or not the choice is always yours